When greenhouse gases are mentioned, we tend to imagine the main culprits. Traffic jams, power stations, and even cow flatulence. However, we often overlook one important player of the balance of greenhouse gases. Soil. Dr. Susan Crow from the University of Hawaii Manoa is researching how important healthy soils are for our environment and how everyone, from farmers to policymakers, play a part in improving the state of soils in Hawaii. Soils are an integral part of the carbon cycle. At some point, almost all carbon enters the soil. Some will be stored a long time. This is called sequestration. We often think of this through the death of animals gradually decomposing. Decaying plants also result in sequestration. Gradually, soil microbes transform inputs into organic matter. Some carbon is protected from further decomposition by passing through aggregates and interacting with minerals, and some are released back into the atmosphere. Dr. Crow's research group explores ways to achieve the healthiest agroecosystems, accumulating organic matter and storing as much carbon as possible for the long term. Recent research results showed how quickly carbon can transform and be protected in Hawaii soils. In perennial grass systems cultivated for biofuel production or forage, a harvesting technique called retuning cuts the above ground crop, leaving most of the roots alive. Some roots decay, producing healthy organic matter underground. The plant regrows above and the process is repeated. Critically, retune harvest allows little or no disturbance to the soil environment and ecosystem. This further reduces CO2 released into the atmosphere. The researchers also compared different grasses to find the species and traits that encourage the most carbon sequestration. Grass roots with low lignin decomposed quicker and the carbon accumulated faster, even under warmer conditions expected with climate change. Helping farmers choose optimal crops and sustainable management techniques moves Hawaii closer to renewable energy, food production, and net carbon neutrality goals in the future.